Hello, it is I, Sebastian Canseco. You might not know me, but you will soon. I am reviving this channel in a huge way, and I'm now focusing on doing actual videos that consist of a whole variety of different things coming from analyses, to pop culture, to music reviews, or just funny videos in general. I want to showcase myself more, and this channel is a pretty decent reason for that. A little about me, I'm a huge nerd for movies, TV shows, games, music, you name it. I, along with 99% of the population, loves music, love music especially. Like, who doesn't? About a month ago, I've asked my Instagram followers to ask me if there's any songs specifically that I should review. I wrote the songs in a random piece of paper and I put them in a cup. I'll choose a random piece of paper and the paper that I get out of it will be the song that I will review. Alright, the first song I'm about to review is... No. No. No, this can't be. I could, I could do like literally any other song. Are you telling me that out of all the songs in the world, you recommend this shit to me? No, f fine, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. All right, let me tell you about the dance song. Yes, the dance song. Ever since the dawn of time, or in this case, the dawn of music, there has been the novelty of the song that the whole world can rejoice and be united to. Yes, nothing brings a crew of people together for when the disc jockey plays that one tune that gets everybody on the floor. As music progressed during the 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s to now, there were many dance songs that people would hit the dance floor to, like Twist back in like the 60s, or some disco songs of which could be good, like Funky Town or Night Fever, and some that could be... Questionable. The song that I'm talking about specifically fits the description for the kind of song that is made for a specific environment. In this case, trends. In the 2000s and through the 2010s, there were definitely an overabundance of these kind of songs that hit the radio, like the cha-cha slide, the lean back, soldier boy. What does the fuck say? Oh, that one. The Harlem Shake, the Hotline Bling. Etc. 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 Like these songs are cool when the DJ tells everyone to dance now, but for example, if you're driving and the cha-cha slide comes on, are you gonna be like dancing while you're driving? Like, for example, slide to the left. Oh, okay. Oh no. Other than that, in the 2010s, there were dance songs that became popular due to social media. Like hit the Quan or whip and nay please do not remind me. And among all those dumb dances, I remember fondly this pathetic attempt at making a hit dance song. Ah, the things I do for your entertainment. If you don't have any idea of what I'm talking about here, let me tell you about the art form of a signature gimmick. It's like having a quirk. One tiny little thing that defines their reputation, or in this case, defines who they are. This kid named Russell Horning is defined with the persona of the Backpack Kid. Russell was a kid who had a knack for making very quirky dance videos with a backpack on. Yes, indeed, that is his signature gimmick. Always having a backpack on him, doing dances with mostly a straight face. Anything to get noticed on the internet, right? Russell was semi-popular on his social media outlets, but he eventually got big thanks to a live Katy Perry SNL performance in which he did this dance, live on television. And upon this event, he went viral and thus had his own 15 minutes. Of fame. Now yes, it's very hard to stay relevant after trending on the internet. It's difficult to keep your momentum after you start to fade away. For that some artists, this is called being a one-hit wonder. Alright, I remember people saying that Little Nas X was going to be a one-hit wonder based on the only popular song that he had at the time called Old Town Road. But they were wrong! Little Nas is the pro at marketing his music. I aspire to be like him. Wait, I'm not talking about Lil Nas, I'm talking about this dumbass backpack kid. 
Unlike little Nas, this kid fell off the face of the planet after his meme faded away, but Russell then said, the show must go on. And then he decided to drop a song based off of the meme that he created, titled Floss. What do you think it was going to be called? The Floss Pyre Strikes Back? Honestly, I've never seen a more pathetic attempt at staying relevant. This kid stayed within the text of his own 15 minute trend, and obviously it led him to get smacked in the face with 600,000 dislikes. 600,000? Oh boy. Is Flossin as bad as some people say? Or is there maybe something more clever deep hidden in- <laughs> I, <laughs> I, could, I couldn't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> I be flossing. Oh my lord, where the fuck do I start? Like, first of all, this kid has the vocals of Tina Belcher. And the beat is just pretty much three piano keys playing over and over. And also this kid has like no flow within any of his rhymes. If you can even call them lines. Or bars. This so-called backpack kid has the vocabularistics that are limited to I, B, and Flossin. Exclusively in that order. Let's go. E everywhere you go, you will see the Flossin dance. Uh, give me a second. I'm just gonna look around. Wow. Russell. I don't see anybody doing the Floss dance anymore. Especially when it came out about five months after the trend fucking died. It be international, you will see it in France. Oh, really? Where are my French viewers? Flossing with my homies, I'll be flossing with the cops. The cops? Flossing on the block, mix it with that Millie Rock. Wow, this dude mentioned Millie Rock, another dead trend. The cringe, the cringe is infinite. I be flossing with suede, while I be drinking lemonade. Drinking lemonade? Th th that's it. I I'm done. All right, I had it up to here with teenagers making music from their basements. Not everybody can be Little Nas X. Sorry. Plus, I'm about to get paid. Hey. I be flushing every day. Hey. Uh, probably not getting paid that much because those dislikes speak a thousand words. What am I talking about? This kid probably has more money than me. If you can't do it, I'm about to show you how. Yeah. First, you spread your legs. What? Then you put your arms out. Oh. And go left yeah. to right. Right. Left yeah. to right. Right. Left yeah. to right. Right. Left yeah. to right. Left right. Left right. Left right. Left right. Left right. Left right. Turn it up. Oh my God. So songwriting has come such a long way that the words left and right are repeated as a bridge. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Stop it, stop it! Enough, enough! Left, right, left, right. Stop it! I'm about to go insane! Wow, this is a pretty bad song. Like, this kid's reputation is probably done. Like, but, but, but who knows? Maybe he could make an impact later on in his life. Like, some, like, so he, he could have a comeback later on. You know, like, um, Justin Bieber was hated on when he started out, but... Um, so maybe the backpack kid might have potential later on? I don't know. But other than all of this, this kid's song was such a viral hit that not only was it universally hated, Genius actually interviewed him analyzing the lyrics. Yeah, because lyrics like these need analyzing. Do you know what? How about we witness the video? Let's take a deep dive into the lyrics of I, B, and Boss. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I've been wanting to make music for a minute. I think we did record this after SNL, when the dance like really exploded and we needed a Flossin' song. Working with Suede, I think he just sent me a DM. I figured out that he lived in Atlanta too, just like me. And so we were like, might as well make music together, because why not? Why not? Why not make this game changer of a song? 
I be flossing. I be flossing. Oh, I be brother, flossing. this guy stinks! Uh, th this can't be real. Oh my god, not even autotune can save this kid. Flossing is the dance that took the world by storm on the internet. The dance, it just really came to mind. Like, I was. Oh, so, like, really, it really came to your mind? Like, you were the originator of this so called dance? Like, this dance that has been around since, like, 2014, hell, even 2010? This kid just trademarked this dance, so it could just literally be entirely his. Like, this kid, this kid has the power that very few people have stealing dances. It be international. You will see it in France. I want to go to Paris. I want to see the Eiffel Tower. That's great content. Oh, y yes, Russell. Like, Paris is indeed good content. Like, the Louvre, that shit is Gucci. I be flossing every day. If you can't do it, I'm about to show you how. First, you spread your legs. Then you put your arms out and go left to right. Left to right. Left to right. Left to right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Turn it up. Wow, this is this is hard to sit through. Like, this is so unnecessary. I went to Chile to do this little ad campaign for this apple juice company, Viva Mahor. Never do that again. Boston, it was like my first professional song ever. But since then, we have way more music that's... 30 times better. You have songs that are 30 times better? Like with the with the reception this song had, the sky's the limit, kid. Yeah, don't worry, Russell. Like, I, like, again, Justin Bieber wasn't well liked at first, but he's moderately liked now. Um, Logic was criticized when he first started, but he eventually became really good and then ran his course. So just chin up, kid. I believe in you. Austin, I think it's had a good run so far, but it's not going to last forever. So I got to branch out into more of my other talents, which I think are music and acting. Oh, and he's admitting that the song won't last forever and he will focus on other talents also. I would like to see how he would pursue acting. Speaking of other songs, what are these songs that the Bat Pack Kid himself says are 30 times better? Do you want, I, I'm just going to look up him right now. Wait, what? what? Too lit? Balenciagas drip on boat. Um. Okay. I'll be. I'll be supportive. Um. Let's let, let's listen to Too Lit. I'm too lit. I'm too lit. Yeah, I'm too what the hell is this? You you stop it. You you know what? Let's listen to Drip on Boat. Too much drip on me. Yeah, I need a boat. Too much drip on me. Yeah, I need a boat. Oh. Um, okay, it's it's mediocre, but it, I like the beat. I could I could bop to this. You know what? Call it drip hard enough. How about Balenciagas? Balenciagas on my feet. Got the brand new easy boost. I gotta show off all this heat. Oh my goodness. You, you know, okay, you know what? I had enough of this kid. All right. Overall, Flossin is. A bad song, but it's it's not it's definitely not the worst. And this kid definitely, I could see potential in him. Like, so, so just stop the hate, stop the, stop the hate on this kid. All right, he's this is for this is first song. All right, like like my like I, when I put out music, it wasn't great either. Um, no reason to check my music out. No, no. um um, forget what I said. Um, um, M I B, neutralize them. Sorry. So where was I? Uh oh yeah, um yeah, Flossin, the song. Um a four four out of ten. Alright, so long, Batpack Kid. It was nice. It was nice meeting you, alright? And I wish you good luck. Um live live long and prosper. Alright, so who do I have next on my requests? Alright, hopefully it's a better song too. Ugh, this was insanity. Alright, my next song will be No. 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 B Backpack Kid. I'm sorry. All right. I, I, I take back everything I said about you. For that, I did not know what was going to come. 
next time, I'm going to feel the wrath of another artist. Next time, I'm going to feel the wrath of the Bieber.